Hi, I'm Jenny Tomes, Project Coordinator, Utility Outreach with Port St. Lucie Utility Systems. As Hurricane Irma approaches our area, many residents are getting ready for the storm, and we'd like to assure you that Utility Systems is very well prepared. We have 26.1 million gallons of water in storage. We have more than 100 large generators in our equipment fleet that will be used to power wastewater lift stations and production wells if we lose electric service. Our utility warehouse is well stocked with materials and parts necessary to make emergency repairs to the system. And 249 utility operation and administration employees are on alert and ready to maintain the system and provide excellent service to our more than 71,000 customers. It's been a while since we've experienced a storm. Here are a few reminders about your low pressure wastewater disposal system and drinking water. Many of the city's wastewater customers are serving served by low pressure grinder pump or step systems. The system consists of a small electrical pump inside a fiberglass tank that is typically buried in the front yard of the customer's property. You may wonder what happens when the grinder pump or step tank is full of wastewater. A float system will activate the electrical pump and the wastewater will be pumped through low pressure sewer mains to one of the city's wastewater treatment plants. What happens if there's a power failure that leaves a residence with no electricity? If the electrical power is off, the grinder or step system cannot operate. Therefore, all grinder and step system customers must conserve water usage until their electric power has been restored. Keep in mind that a toilet typically uses between one and a half and two and a half gallons of water each time it's flushed. Therefore, customers should flush toilets only when absolutely necessary. They should not take long showers or run water unnecessarily. What will the utility do if a customer does not have electrical power to their grinder or step system? The utility will make every effort possible to pump out or pump down a customer's grinder or step system during the recovery period after the storm or hurricane. Can customers connect their private generators to operate their residential grinder or step systems? Yes. Customers may utilize portable generators to provide for the continuous use of the residential grinder systems, provided the feed must be through the home's electrical panel, utilizing equipment installed by a licensed electrician. Connecting a portable generator directly to the grinder system's control panel is prohibited. A personal generator must be a minimum of 220 volts or 6,500 watts. Is it safe to drink the city's water after a hurricane? A precautionary boil water advisory will typically be in effect immediately following a severe hurricane until such time as the city can assure the integrity of its water distribution system and the quality of water in its system. If you're not able to boil the water, the St. Lucie County Health Department has recommended that you add eight drops of unscented household bleach per gallon of water, stir it to mix, and then allow the water to sit for 10 minutes before consuming it. Should other city water and sewer customers do anything special before, during, or after a hurricane? Yes, especially heavy rainfall can affect the overall operations of the utility. Therefore, customers are always advised to conserve water use during and after any severe storm event or hurricane. Again, they should be especially conservative about toilet flushing, and they should not use dishwashers or washing machines. Customers should not take long showers or otherwise allow water to run for long periods of time. Customers may call 873-6400 with any further questions. Our utility system switchboard is manned 24 hours a day, seven days a week by trained personnel. Please be safe and take care during this storm.